My name is Jack Hirschman. I'm with the Revolutionary Poets Brigade, and I'll simply serve uh, as the, uh, the namer of the folks who are going to read. We're here, uh, I use the word outrage in, in the title, for Mohammed al Jami, is the Qatar poet, whom I think we all know by this time, has been given a life sentence and is in prison in Qatar. And I'm going to call, we're going to hear him first. Uh, and he's been translated by a dear friend of this brigade and also a wonderful translator of many poets. And I think the book on Najwan Darwish is, is, is coming out from uh, New Directions Press. Rahul uh, Darwish was a terrific young Palestinian poet. Many of us met, he was down in specs. Uh, one evening here in the past. Anyway, you're going to hear, well, I'll let him. Please welcome Kareem James Abu Dhabi. Uh, so I'm going to read a poem by uh, Muhammad al uh the Qatari poet who was uh, apparently um, sentenced to life in prison uh, recently. Uh, one thing, um, the trial, if it occurred, which it apparently did, it was a secret trial, so nobody really knows which poem put him in prison. Oh, God. Um, there were two, uh, from what I saw on, uh, last week looking at Arabic blogs, um, one which kind of uh, directed was directed at uh, the emir, the ruler of Qatar, directly, um, was actually the less, in, like, less incendiary of the two poems. Um, I started to try to translate that one, and it was a reply to a poem by somebody else, which was a reply to a poem by him. Uh, so it didn't really make much sense translating it, nor is it, was it particularly interesting. Um, just for us, it was already embedded in this long chain of, of poems. Uh, the one that really probably put him in prison was about the revolution in Tunisia, uh, and that's the one I'm going to read. Um, people refer to it as the Jasmine Revolution poem. Um, there's no title usually given to poems in Arabic, uh, or a lot of poems don't have titles. So I'm going to read that one uh, first in Arabic, uh, and then in my uh, English translation, which is a little bit free. You can tell uh, the meter is very different. Um, a few things about, maybe just about the poet real quickly. Uh, there are no poets from Qatar. Qatar is a tiny nation. There are no poets from Qatar who are well known anywhere in the Arabic world, uh, including this person. Uh, nor um, had I heard of him until he was arrested. Uh, it's an interesting poem. Um, it's a kind of strange mix between standard classical Arabic and uh, the Gulf dialects, which was a little bit difficult to translate. Um, I assume that was intentional on the part of the poet, uh, but it's a very odd mix. Usually poets will pick one or the other. They'll go for the dialect or they'll go for standard. And this one um, is kind of in between. I did uh, hear some recordings of him reading it online, so I'll try to read it similarly to how he read it. There's a little bit of repetition, occasionally you repeat stanzas, so you'll notice some repetition um, that's there and that I've tried to capture a little bit in the English translation. So anyway, this is his poem on the Tunisian Revolution. Um, the only two names that come up uh, that you'll need to know are the former Prime Minister of Tunisia, uh, Mohamed al Fanoushi, who was in power for a long time, and of course the former President, Ben Ali, who was deposed uh, by the revolution. But they come, their names just come up. So, يا الوزير الأول يا محمد الغنوشي لو حسبنا صوتك ما حيبة الستورية يا الوزير الأول يا محمد الغنوشي لو حسبنا صوتك ما حيبة الستورية ما بكينا ابن علي ولا بكينا عصرة نعتبرها لحظة في العمر التاريخية ديكتاتورية نظام القمعة واستبدالة أعلنت تونس عليه الثورة الشعبية إن ضممنا ما ندم إلا حقير وواطي وإن مدحنا نمدح بقناعة شخصية أجج الثورة بدم الشعب يا ثائرها وانحت أمجال الشعوب لكل نفس حية كلهم في صوت من كفنا تشل كفا كل نصر تستبقه أحداث مأساوية 
آه أقبال البلاد اللي جهل حاكمها يحسب إن العزة في القوات الأمريكية آه أقبال البلاد اللي جهل حاكمها يحسب إن العزة في القوات الأمريكية وآه أقبال البلاد اللي شعبها جايح والحكومة تفتكر في التفرة المالية واح البلاد اللي تنام مواطن معك جنسية وتصبح ما معك جنسية واح أقبال نظام القمي المتوارد لا متى وانتو عبيد النزعة الذاتية ولا متى والشعب ما يدري بقيمة نفسه ذا ينسب ذا وأرائح كلها منصية ليه ما يختار حاكم في البلد يحكم له يتخلص من نظام السلطة الجبرية علم اللي مردية نفسه ومزعل شعبة بكرة يجلس بدالة واحد بكرسية علم اللي مردية نفسه ومزعل شعبة بكرة يجلس بدالة واحد بكرسية لا يحسب أن الوطن باسمة وباسم عيالة الوطن للشعب وأمجاد الوطن شعبية رددوا والصوت واحد للمسير الواحد كلنا تونس في وجه النخبة القمعية رددوا والصوت واحد للمسير الواحد كلنا تونس في وجه النخبة القمعية الحكومات العربية ومن يحكمها كلها بلا بلا استثناء حرامية السؤال اللي يؤرق فكرة المتسائل لن يجد إجابته من كل جهة رسمية دام حتى استورد من الغرب كل أشياءها ليه ما تستورد القانون والحرية ليه 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 ما تستورد القانون والحرية؟ Here's the uh, English. Um, sorry, it sounds a little bit different in English. Um, I'm not so I'm not so good at channeling outrage. But, uh, I've done my best. <laughs> Prime Minister Mohammed Al Ghanoushi, if we measured your might, it wouldn't hold a candle to a constitution. We shed no tears for Ben Ali, nor any for his reign. It was nothing more than a moment in time for us, historical and dictatorial, a system of oppression, an era of autocracy. Tunisia declared the people's revolt. When we lay blame, only the base and vile suffer from it. And when we praise, we do so with all our hearts. A revolution was kindled with the blood of the people. Their glory had worn away, the glory of every living soul. So, rebel, tell them, tell them in a shrouded voice, a voice from the grave. Tell them that tragedies precede all victories. A warning to the country whose ruler is ignorant, whose ruler deems that power comes from the American army. A warning to the country whose people starve while the regime boasts of its prosperity. A warning to the country whose citizens sleep. One moment you have your rights, the next they're taken from you. A warning to the system inherited of oppression. How long have all of you been slaves to one man's selfish predilections? How long will the people remain ignorant of their own strength while a despot makes decrees and appointments the will of the people all but forgotten? Why is it that a ruler's decisions are carried out? They'll come back to haunt him in a country willing to rid itself of coercion. Let him know, he who pleases only himself and does nothing but vex his own people, let him know that tomorrow someone else will be seated on that throne. Someone who knows the nation's not his own, nor the property of his children. It belongs to the people, and its glories are the glories of the people. 
they gave their reply, and their voice was one, and their fate, too, was one. All of us are Tunisia in the face of these oppressors. The Arab regimes and those who rule them are all, without exception, without a single exception, shameful thieves. This question that keeps you up at night, its answer won't be found on any of the official channels. Why? Why do these regimes import everything from the West? Everything but the rule of law, that is, and everything but freedom. Thank you.